Yeah, my people, how are they? This is Parara, and I did a life and direct. And also, now with the suppressor, what did it happen? Why Parara got dressed like this? Because today, we come live, come talk about major issue with the warrior Africa, especially Nigeria. We understand it now. So, I don't already know who they are. I mean, they copy the copy of Parara, and I'm going to go Parara 1 of Africa. I'm back. I don't come back. My visa don't expire. So, what do we want to talk about today? Now, critical issue. And we consign you and me and your family. So anything what you do, just leave her now because the person who I get say, oh yeah, now balance the key, balance diet to call give us some issue. I don't want to tell now. I don't want give on the sport, but give on the sport now. I'm a kaka advantage. So I get one of my brother all the way from Wafi. Now come meet me, but I don't want to tell now where I did. They did do this interview. So only one I go tell now who it be. So, brother, how are you doing? I did fine. Uh -huh. I better tell my people what to be your name. Okay. I'm um, Mr. Kadiri Umurusule. Umurusule. Yes. Good, good. Which side are you from? Come? Okay. I'm actually from Edo State. Edo State. One is to be precise. Good. So, today we come here to discuss serious issues yeah. with the warrior Africa, especially Nigeria, because they're the colors giant of Africa. But a lot of people know they know the reason why they call us. But not be that side where they go now. So, I want more to discuss about religion. Religion. I say, oh, yes, more talk about religion today. Would it be religion? Because a lot of people, they don't know the meaning of religion. And we want to talk about would it be religion and which kind of effect, what it all affect us, what it all bring good, or it all do bad in our life. So I just want to make you tell us something like about religion and if it all bring good to Africa or in Nigeria or it bring bad to Nigeria. So how you see, what is religion? Yeah, in a, in a short note, religion, is the belief or worship in a supernatural being. Um, religion is predominantly something that is practiced in different parts of the world. Yes. Now, if you talk about religion, like you asked the question now, you said, what is the effect of religion in Africa and Nigeria precisely? Yeah. If you look now, the, Ch the Chinese have their own God. The Hindu have their own God. The Europeans have their own God. And you see those people, they look like they are God and their God look like them. But we Africans, we don't look like our God. Rather, we want to accept those people's God as our own God. Now, religion in Nigeria and the two main religions in Nigeria, as we can see, is Islam and Christianity. Yes. But we will not take our traditional religion away from it too because they also have their own effect on us as a people. Religion came as a tool from the colonial masters, so I will call it colonial imposition. It's a policy that they used to subdue Africans. And we fell for it because of the salvation message it carries. In the process, they demonized our own African religion, which we accepted and forgot about our own heritage and accept others. Now, let me start with Christianity, which I was highly indoctrinated in. Christianity is the Jewish traditional religion. Just so, okay, you mean say, now Jews people, now they are traditional, like the way we get the uh, logo show to do Arumeta, that will do do yes. Shango. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's their traditional religion. Yes. You understand? The Jesus Christ we talk of today, he was not a Christian. Although the word Christianity came out after his death, which means Christ like. But Jesus Christ was on earth. From childhood to he started the ministry, he was practicing Judaism with his family. So Jesus Christ is not a Christian. He's not a Christian. Okay. Yes. He was not a Christian. Now, the concept of Christianity coming to Africa was brought in by the colonial masters. It was. On the other hand, Islam was already dominant in the northern part of Africa through trade until the jihad brought it by force. The jihad brought it by force by Islamizing the whole of the north and down to some parts of the south, like Aushi, for example, was part of the great Canaan Empire in those days, which was an Islamic caliphate. So, religion teaches us peace. You understand? But it's just a part of it. Religion itself has its own fair share of violence. Now, we see the Muslims as very violent people, most of them, not all, because they are fanatics. Many of them are fanatics. 
But we look at Christians like they are more relaxed, they are more civil, you understand? But to be honest with you, the religion of Christianity and Islam have their own fair share of violence. If I take you down to the Bible, which is the guide of the Christians, you can see even the biblical God gave orders for the killing of children and women, even animals. You will come to ask yourself, is that really a word from a God? Okay, let's assume the for we for we for Bible. Okay, um, First Samuel chapter fifteen, verse three down to twenty seven or so. Yeah. You get the whole story when Samuel was sent to God sent Samuel to Saul to go and kill the Amalekites, and he gave a direct instruction: kill everybody, even children, even their animals. But so, so according to the Bible, he disobeyed. But to me, I won't say that as disobedience because it's kind of foolish for you to kill an animal over a wall. You understand? He took the fat buzzing and he took the king postage, which that, according to the Bible, God was angry and God said the prophet somewhere to him, eh, so have disobeyed me, this, that, that, that. And after all of that, so gave his own excuse. I wanted to use this animal as sacrifice to God since he already ordered me to kill them. Then so I the word obedience is better than sacrifice. Now, all of this we are trying to say now, if you read the Bible from Genesis to the end, it's just like an history book to the Jewish people. It's their history book because it tells you how they started from Adam. Many people say they are from Adam, but they are not from Adam because I don't have any affiliation with Adam. And if I should make you understand, even right now in Israel, they are not Christians. Israel, you know, where Christianity yes, come from? They are not Christians. They are not predominantly Christians. They are very low percent of Christians there. They are, they are, they are major religion there is Judaism. They don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe in Jesus. Do you understand? But you see how people go into pilgrimage, they pay money over for it. They go pilgrimage for this same Jesus that these people don't believe. They rip us of our money through pilgrimage. Even Islam, they do it. People go to Saudi Arabia to go and perform all sorts of things they do. But come back here, you can see religion has not really affected us positively. Rather, it has bred a bunch of gullible people, psychophants, and hypocrites. I can draw you back to this woman training online, Mama Gio. Yes. You see, so many Christians are criticizing her for all the things she has been saying. But the truth be said, so many of these things have been done before she came. But because the men of God doing these things already have a strong member base to the their members already attached to them because christianity of now they serve their past not even the god they are telling us about you understand that part now for the person of apostle suleiman he gave um he gave um uh, a testimony of one of his sons he doesn't actually call names he just see one of my son who was in germany and he had a revelation from god that is going to open um a church in France, but he had no paper. But God told him to go to the airport and queue up. You and I know that thing is a lie. It's a lie. That is not that is not Nigeria where you can just go to the airport when you don't have documents to travel. You went to the airport and you were praying and God told you to keep fit. The next thing God told you to go into a toilet. You went into a toilet and you were praying, speaking in tongues. Then the next thing you saw yourself in France. <laughs> which means you're automatically telling us he teleported from Germany to France. Everybody was shouting hallelujah to it. But I was wondering why people were criticizing Mom Jiu when she was saying things like she met Lucifer. Because they are just the same kind of story. Like uh, Adeboye said, he raised a boy that was already embalmed. It's, you see, they are all the same kind of people with different kind of stories. But they choose, they, let me use the word cherry pick. They will cherry pick leaving their papa they will pick the ones they don't like and they will start chastising them. Now, the truth is, religion has not done us good in Africa, in Nigeria precisely. It has made us looser, adamant as a people because we believe God will do everything for us. We believe God, let, 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 let's pray, let's put Nigeria in for prayers. Even the people that brought this religion to us, they don't put anything in prayers. I think a Nigerian nurse was, our license was seized in the UK over a child that was uh, convulsing or so. Yes. She was calling Jesus instead of to act on her profession. You understand? They don't believe in those things. 
but they gave it to us. I always use the word, like in the UK, you cannot just pick up a cane and start flogging your child mistlessly like we do down here. But do you know it's in the Bible? Say you spare the rod, you spoil the child. They brought this thing to us. They are not indulging in it like we are doing. But we are going crazy about it. Pastors can easily break a marriage today in Nigeria. Yes. Pastor can easily make you hate people from your village. We keep hearing things like ancestral calls, things that some people fear to go to their village because of some teachings they get from the church, which is so wrong. Now, let's look at the origin of religion. Religion was frontiered by the Roman Catholic. Or should I use the word? It was hijacked by them. You keep asking yourself questions like, the Romans were the ones who carried out the execution of Jesus Christ, but later became the front bearer of Christianity. Okay, now Roman people now killed Jesus for... Yes, for Jesus was brought forward by his own people yeah. to be killed. But they, they were the one who carried out the execution. Good. You understand? Because Pontius Pilate was a Roman governor in Israel, in Jerusalem then. They were the ones who led him to the cross. They were the ones who whipped him and put him on the cross. You understand? But later, these same people became the foreigner. Now, if you notice, the Romans are very intelligent people. They build a very strong army, military force from a very tiny Rome, which is present-day Italy. And if you know, if you see, religion is something you can use to subdue another person, even without striking one punch or throwing one arrow. After gathering all their military experience, their expedition, they were the one who later adopted this religion. If you have, I don't know if you don't hear about the Council of Nasia, they adopted this religion, they brought it to the world. Yes. There was a time, all of the whole of Europe was under the rule of the Pope. That was the Dark Age. Nothing came out of it. That was the Dark Age in humanity. Nothing came out of it. Now they preach the Holy Crusade to take back Jerusalem. It's the Catholic. Many lives were lost in taking back Jerusalem since it's like their holy land where Jesus Christ was born and buried. They went back to seize the land. Religion promotes division. When we were younger, we hear Muslims and Christians, they also have one God. I used to believe such things. When I came up age, I was like, eh, if we also have one God, oh, why can't you go to the mosque and pray with the Muslim? They say, no, I need to go to the church. Just like the Christian cannot go to the mosque and pray with the Muslim. We should tell ourselves the truth. Religion has brought division to us as in a Africa. people. Yes, in Africa, especially Nigeria, as a case study. Be it Islam, be it Christianity. So you mean say religion not bring anything good to Nigeria? So far so good, it's glaring. It has brought nothing but lies and deceit. Okay. Yes, because now religion has been hijacked in Nigeria and it has been used to cripple the pillars of Nigeria. If you look, so many prosperity church in Nigeria, all flourishing. Why? Because Religion strives with fear. They put fear on their followers to keep them as flock while they keep milking them. You see tomorrow, if you notice, the awareness on Christian deceit is on the high right now. If you see now, some of the pastors are coming out. If you say here, thing about the man of God, you have leprosy. That one that they are able to hear. Yes, eh? You and I know nobody we have leprosy. But they keep doing these things. They keep staging miracles. They try to make themselves relevant by staging miracles. Every time I put it to you, no Nigerian pastor can heal any person today. I was going somewhere on a Monday morning to meet with one um, of, um, Aousa man that did buy a fowl for my poetry. The taxi I entered, I, I saw some young people entering the taxi. They were going to a church as at 7 o'clock in the morning. Messy land that we were in. We were I was wondering, on a Monday morning, 
when the young men and women that you are supposed to be looking for something tangible to do, they are going to church for towards him. Now, you see women going to church looking for marriage. They cannot get married by pastor laying hands on you, all that. Religion has made we as a people docile. And religion complements politics. Okay. Instead of we to rise by people and demand for our rights, we, we, we depend to pray for our rights and allow God to help us to solve issues here. And it's not done that way. By like, so many of us have tried to bring out some facts about religion. We, 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 we get different kind of attacks. I've been told by a woman on Facebook that if she be a woman of God, I'll die the next day. If I don't come back to see her, God, I'm sorry. I was the first person to wake her up, to wake her up that very day. Uh, I'm still alive. What happened? She blocked me. It was so painful. I did not screenshot that thing because I didn't see that blocking coming that early. I felt she was still going to engage me to wake up. But I know some of my Facebook friends, they saw it. Now, religion teaches us, like, teaches, teaches good behavior, especially Christianity. But the truth is that without religion, human beings have conscience. You can also discern what is good and what is bad. Now, we have Christianity, we have Islam in Nigeria, but we're still very corrupt. What's the place to stay? Now, you go to somewhere like China. They have their own kind of God. They have Buddha, Confucianists. They have a similar society that we have here. Yes. We go down to the USA. They are very liberal people. They permit gay in some parts of there. They don't even see religion like a like a huge thing there. You understand? They just want your own as in how you coexist with people is what really matters over there. Those people are living a better society than yes. ours. We have more churches than schools. You go to every street, any small corner, there's a church there. Church. There's a church there. Friendly, friendly. There's a church there. Then now, you see, Christians are receiving a huge criticism in the internet and generally. Why? They say hey, you people are afraid of Muslims. Nobody's afraid of Muslims. The truth is that. The Muslims hardly give you something to talk about. They hardly do it. I put it to you. Name like 10 Muslim clerics you know in Nigeria. You may, yeah, like cleric. That's, that's cleric. Yeah, yeah. You might likely not get up to 10. But if I tell you to name 20 pastors. They don't pass 20. Uh, you know, let us be on a moderate level. Yeah. You name. They don't do flashy things. They don't brag. They don't boast. They don't own moxes. They don't pass moxes down to their children. You understand? We don't have private jets. Honestly, me, I don't really like to talk about that private jet because yeah. if you talk about private jets, some of them say, hey, jealous is this, that. But my problem is having two, having three, for what use. Now, we'll be talking about Islam and um, the Christianity. Let's go back to our African traditional religion. Yes. Which we have shoes not to evolve over time. If you notice, most of our African shrine look disgusting the way it's being arranged. There were times when other people's shrines were like that too. The Europeans were barbaric, even more than us. They killed, they performed human sacrifice. But over time, they evolved. You understand? But we are still stagnant. The time when they born you, the way, the way you see old women say they do cassava. I said they do, they do cassava here today. We don't really evolve, you understand? Because why? Everybody wants to follow the white right man's dream. It's not a bad thing. But India has been there. China has been there. Yes. They accepted the education, accepted technology, but they left the religion. And you can you can agree with me, they are doing better than us. Oh, no, no. All those people, they don't pass us. Yes. So, I want to ask you this question. Yeah. So, what would be your take now for this uh, religion where all these our people, they colonize us, bring God give us? What would be your own take? What yes. I don't tell you before now, say that colonial imposition, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a policy to subdue a certain kind of people. You understand? Or let me not say a certain race. They brought it in because they know what religion can do 
to the mind. That's why Kama said, religion is the opium of the masses. It was in any way to break a diagnosis. Yes, people opium, watch. opium, uh, they were like hard drug with them those days. Okay. Yes, during the during the, the Crusader era, it was it was it was it was a high trade in those days. As in the way cocaine is said to be so okay. opium was the drug then. So many soldiers they used actually crusaders, Muslims, uh, Saracens, just like that. So when you say is the opium of the masses, it's like something that gets you drunk. And when you are drunk, you're not thinking straight. At least you see viral videos now, you see my short people. Okay, see one small boy now they lay hand on people. Everybody will say my God brother. Yeah. But they leave him or leave him. God they read the call person. If God call me, if my time reach for me to die, I suppose to just like the way they provide me. I suppose to be say I bless this person. You understand? To succeed me. Not when I die, my wife will come, bring document for and she won't take her. Or my son will come and go next to the line. You understand? Yeah. So religion has not really done us good. Rather, it has done us a, 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 a bigger evil than the good it was supposed to bring to us. So I we I would say let's try and focus on developing ourselves outside religion first. Because it's not taking us anywhere. Okay. So what did they then now? I want to ask you this question. So which advice now that you won't give all these religion people for Africa, especially in Nigeria, because the thing now like the worst. Okay. Muslim, your block rule, like this Christian, 40 days fasting, 50 days, 70 days. You understand? Could be like say, so what is your advice to them? My advice to them, one thing about a, an indoctrinated mind it's very difficult to break them away from the shackles. You see dogmas. Dogmas is a serious trait that affects human to today. Just like from childhood to like 37 years old, then the contact you say the man with the call of passing of not your papa, it will be very difficult for you to accept. That's how religion is. If bring a core Christian to me now, if he was born in Saudi Arabia, he would have been a Muslim. If you tell him anything about Christianity, he won't buy it. That is just because why? He was born into it. He was raised with it and he believed that is true. We have more than 5,000 religions yes. in this world. And these 5,000 religions have their own God. And each of them say their God is the true God. 5,000 I will get. It's even more than that. I just want to be, okay. I don't want to exaggerate. I just want to be moderate. But we get more than 5,000 religions in this world. And each have their own God. And each say my God is the true God. Now, the research and a little bit of history don't let people understand. Say the Bible is a plagiarized book of different historical events. Like the story of Noah now, we have another one called the Sumerian myth, the Sumerian flood. It's called myth. Like we have Samson in the Bible, a strong man. We also have Hercules from the Greek mythology. If you pull the story of Hercules, you will find that they'll say, hmm. That will not happen. But if you put the story of Samson, they will agree to it. Why? Because it's in their religion. And the book is what fuel and drive this religion. So if you want to really call religion in this country, first of all, you have to teach religious people to put their fear away. Many of them, if you say, if I shall leave my pastor for this thing, God will do me something. God will not do you anything. You understand? It will not happen. The way we do this in Nigeria, Nigeria did bad like this. So any bad thing if you happen to you, if you stay after that pastor, where you the follow, where you stay get anointing. Yes. You understand? You need to kill your fears. Then you need to ask questions. Religion needs you to be blinded by faith. Don't ask anything, just believe. And any man who is blind cannot really go forward. You need to ask questions. When you see something that is wrong, like I always say, I tell uh, one of my one of my friends during during a debate, it was like um if I say God this, God that, how was I born? It's a simple thing. It's biology. If you are telling me God gives children, that means the India, the Hindu God is the one giving them children. Definitely every God to his boundary. Because you cannot say that your own God to never give Hindu man with a serve elephant in your own picking. It's simple biology. If you want to have a child, you have sex. 
That is the only way you can have a child. You cannot just pray and do and you have a child. You understand? So first, Christians need to keep fear. Even as a Muslim, you need to keep fear. You need to ask some certain questions. You understand? You see this girl child marriage. It's very wrong. Yes. But nobody wants to ask the question because why? You feel the Quran supports it. You just leave it there. But it's very wrong. It's very wrong to give out a little girl in marriage to a man. So, any of you, the truth is that we need to kill fear first. We need to start asking questions. If we start asking questions, these clerics, whether Islam or Christian clerics, they can no longer maneuver their congregation. Because yes, they do it. You just see somebody say, I see somebody here today. You receive so so and so this week. Then maybe I promise person money before I can send a hundred thousand. Person comes here and say, Ah, Pastor to cancel this week, we will give testimony. Whereas you ask me for money, I promise you, if I don't pay, you can't go give testimony for church. You know they would accolade me now, I will even help you. You rush now. The pastor like they go to now say, Ah, Pastor, that prayer you pray. You get visa, you see it as a miracle. Whereas you just go there, apply for visa, you pass it as you and you go. But you see it as a miracle. They keep giving credit to their pastors. We really need to let the the world know in general, not even just Africa. Religion has done their part. Let me come down to Nigeria. Religion has done its part. For so long, it has done its part. Can I talk all these things now? Abi? Can I talk now? Say, Ag Bishop, they for London. Imam, where? He did for room, but see my people. And it's still happening till now. Why don't we tell ourselves the truth? If you want to be religious, fine, be religious, but don't be gullible. If you want to be a Christian, be a Christian. If you want to be a Muslim, be a Muslim. If you want to serve in Africa, but don't be gullible. You understand? Don't be gullible. When you see your man of God doing something that is not right. So they're not the talk. Yes. You say, ah, no, this thing. So I ask a question. So if a pastor actually raped your 12 years old, the king, because you're a man of God, because any small thing, judge not, judge not. They don't know the difference between judge and actually saying the truth. So if a pastor actually raped your 12 years old child, Will you now say because it's a pastor, you will not report him to the police? No, so yes, I'll report him now. Then why can't you report the one the one way they see now? So why you know if you talk about it? Judge not. Say that. Judge not. So that place where Bible judge not. What do you mean before? Um the, the Bible actually say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You understand? This contest in the Bible is being mixed with judge not. When God said judge not in the Bible, according to the Bible, because I'm not a Christian, he was actually talking to people, not the priest. Don't judge your brother so that you will not be judged. Even the priest is capable of this. Don't don't judge the priest and the priest will not judge you. As in that man so so instead of you to go correct him, you understand? Then now you don't want going to correct him, but you want to be back by time for corner. But touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm actually means you should not go physical with a man of God. You understand? Don't go physical with him. In no tell you say if they do bad thing, you no tell her. Then now you see our men of God today, or pastors, I don't like calling them men of God. Pastors today, one thing I don't like about them is they don't speak out the way we want them to speak out. Because if I refer them back to the Bible, Whenever a king is doing something wrong, it is the priest or the anointed men of, of God in the Bible go. talk to as they go. They told David, they told Saul, they told Solomon, so Moses. But our pastors of today, the Dadigios, them, they are always looking for an entrance to the corridors of power. It's a fact. Now, during Buhari's election, you and I know redeem people will always vote for Buhari because of Osiban. Yes. You understand? Yes. That is religious might. They are challenging the religious might to a different channel instead of using it to see how they will pull Nigeria out of its slumber. It's solely the work of the government to repair Nigeria. You understand? Not prayer. Not prayer. You understand? But why? We agree on this. There are fingers pointing to the clergymen. 
The clergyman can stand at the altar, preach, 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 preach. But let a corrupt politician walk into that church, they will start accordingly respect. And he will so big money to that church and he will accept it. He will take it. He will even publicize it so as he came to the church. Uh-huh. So now this one, now, let me want to ask this question. Because a lot of people, yeah. they talk about these things. They say all these pastor, which is men of God, yeah. where they preach and prosperity, you get like this, drop like this, drop like this. Some people, they say they become men of God. Say, because God not talk like that. So I won't ask you, not truth. If not truth, say God not God, they say they become men of God. Give us reason so that my viewers, they will feel know and know how to follow them. Actually, when you say you are a Christian, you are supposed to portray the life of Christ. Because they live like Jesus Christ waiting for Bible. Yes. You understand? Now, we all know the biblical Jesus, when we read about, did not go for riches. Rather, he went on to teach people about his father in heaven. You understand? Now, this new generation pastor, Pentecostal pastor, call them Pentecostalists, they have changed his narrative. You understand? They don't change them. Yes. They are not teaching prosperity and wealth and they leave the message. Jesus Christ did not collect money from anybody unless you want to voluntarily give. Jesus Christ even told someone, if you know so you won't follow me, sell all your property, give them to wait on the poor that have you follow because he said it is very easy for the head of the Kame to pass through the little than for a rich man to enter heaven. While growing up, I enjoy my family, the shawuru, yeah. because the kind of Christianity where that guy they preach or televised through his movie was something that will actually make you really want to repent so that you will make heaven. You understand? But all of a sudden, when the likes of the Daosa, Blessed Memory, and um, uh, Adeboye, uh, you people, they came in, they changed his narrative. And it's all about fishing money, fishing money, fishing money, fishing money. They have used this thing to acquire a lot for themselves. You have to give them credit for that. Too. They are good co men in what they do. Give to God and you will get back. But you and I know it's not so. It's a lie. If you give to God and you don't have a farm that you are farming, Nothing will come back to you. But they will still tell you, even children, now give tight in church. Whereas tight in contest was for only those working. And the Bible also gives an instruction on how to pay tight. That is Deuteronomy 14, chapter 22 to 28. You say, get out your tight, take it to the presence of the Lord, eat your tight with your household. He said, but if the place is too far where you want to worship the Lord, sell it up and turn it into money. Use that to buy a drink, go go anyone, a strong gospel, you give to the less privileged. But in context, that verse said, but do not neglect the Levites, for they have no allotment of their own. You understand? They don't get land, they are work just to serve for the sanctuary. Yes. You give to them. But whenever they want to talk of tithes, they jump this verse of the Bible. They run to Malachi. Can a man rob God? When they say can a man rob God, was it specific to me and you? It was for everybody. They don't follow when it comes to money and when it comes to threats, they don't follow the Bible. They had their own doctrines to it. As a Christian, you're not even supposed to even follow the old testament. You understand? If you read them for guide, but well, you're not supposed to practice things inside the Old Testament. But no, if they actually say the truth or they tell the people the truth, money will come in again. Take a little survey. Let's agree that we have one million winners member or one million within member worldwide, yes. which we know is more than that. And their offering is 15 naira per Sunday for one million people. Times it. You see how much only 15 naira 
the amount to. You know, you and I know since everybody pay one thousand, so everybody pay two thousand, so everybody pay ten thousand, tight and off again in some way. These men have turned themselves to mammon. Their congregation even see them as God. And now they are only consigned on taking and taking and taking. They are called men. Yes. yes. They are actually obtaining by trick from their congregation. See, you are possessing the man saying miracle money. There's nothing like miracle money. If you want to put money in somebody's account, it's either you do a wire transfer or you do a cash deposit. Which other way? That is the only way money can be transferred to anybody. So you mean say God not feed put money to anybody? God not going to put money for anybody account. If God go feed what I see that, so make a possession the man put money from my account. Yeah. Yeah. If you put money from my account, that means uh, if you just where you sit down now, so put money from my account. That is, I know this video will pass in front. If you put money from my account, me just put money from my account and say, so, yeah, the money come from Angel Mike from Evo. Ah, I'll be glad. So, I want to ask you this one. Yeah. Uh, when you go US, go UK, go like this, all of them they, they be Christian. Yes. But they're not they pray like us. And that country they, they practice both gay like this, but their country they deal with no criminal, no kidnapping. But why if you say we will they do 40 days fasting, 50 days fasting, 100 days, go here, show us, go here, show us, go here, show us, we still get problem. Wait till be the reason. We know they serve God where or what will be the problem where we get. That, that, that is what I actually said from the beginning. Those people are serving their God. We we borrow them. They don't know us. Do you understand? The God don't know us. So when you pray to something, we don't know you. We don't go answer you. Okay. If you want me to advise Africans in general, you see what Mali do just now. No? They stop. They change their language from, from French. We don't forget ourselves. We don't forget our identity. Do you understand? We don't forget ourselves totally. So maybe the problem we get. Yes. Out. We don't forget our core values. We can't even want to behave like the people we bring the things they won't give us. Do you understand? Yes, exposure. They're very good. They good in the city they expose. See things here that side of life. It's very it's welcome. But you see the civilization of a team. Uh, so many people we agree. So many will not agree. It has done us no good. Why will not try technology? Why will not channel our energy? So now you don't want to try to say law and prayer. Mm. Which one I go make country stand with? Now law, what you pray on? The prayer not do anything. Eh? Pray for nothing tomorrow. It's not nothing. You pray for now, fast for now. If you get away, you go move fast, so you will get us and you will die. So now law. Now law. We need a standing law. We will make citizens they abide in. Not be law with the wave with the favors so go with favor. We need law, not religion. Religion does not make does not make a man to live to lead a better life. For example, we get atheists all over the world now. You don't see anyone with the arm rubber. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. You see, I say most of the people they commit crime, most of them belong to one religion or the other. You understand? Now, see court is in the ravaged Nigeria today. Most of all these boys they do all these court killings here and that. You see them in church. They go to church Sunday. Even while they march for the streets, they do their court killing. They pray to God, say God, and they go so guide me. Yeah. You know? One thing about prayer, when you are lucky, they will say it's God. When you are unlucky, they will say it's Satan. When you are unlucky and you are a man of God, or you are a very they will say it's the will of God. Is it the will of God for a little girl of five years to be raped by a 49 years old man? No. If we believe prayer work and there are angels actually looking after us, why would a man just come pick a two years old child, put her inside back, Tifa, carry him go, nobody go see him. We don't even kill him, pound him, take do something safe. Before they will before they will call cash and hey, daddy kill him. But if Lord did those things. Good. If Lord did to check me those things, fine. Then we too, as a people, we Nigerians, look at these Nigerians, we Nigerians, our mind bad. You didn't get, we just put religion up front. We get very wicked mindset. It gets, you don't live with people now. They like church, pass on that thing. But they can't, they can't, they don't think exist with another person. Anything they like, fight, they like power. The person who are able to stay with the name, I promise, every day, prayer, 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 okay. <laughs> you see this thing? Mm -hmm. So, it's a very big problem. 
we need to embrace, as we need to go back to some certain things we don't feel live before. Okay. You understand? And try to involve those things to a better one. That's all. So, my people, don't be small talk. That we don't talk today. <laughs> and our brother don't touch a lot of things. I don't say some of them are going to be best, why some of them are going to be happy. Okay. Life is about learning. We all will still be learning. So, we're not going to attack, try to attack any people. But we won't try to do to make sure, say, Africa they well. So, my brother, wait till you get to tell them before we'll go because time not be our side again. Um, Just give us one, like two minutes, two minutes. Okay. Give us the which last things we talk about religion. Say my people. Yeah. Face the camera, maybe. What I want really tell my people first thing that they need to practice religious tolerance. First, yeah. because religious tolerance now like, will direct us to first get peaceful coexistence. Yeah. You understand? If you be Muslim, you be Christian, you be artist. Anyone where you be. Break her down because this one. Yes, I break her down. down. I tell you, my person not believe in God. Yeah. If you're Muslim, it doesn't, it doesn't mean because you are a Muslim, you are a Christian, right? We will not be sitting down for all please drink gist. You understand? We can't. Even gay people from Europe, they, they go church with their gay partner. From that person, they sit down and they mind in business, they serve God, they don't serve. We should learn religious tolerance. When you see somebody saying something about your denomination, which is the church where you go. Yeah. First, look beyond sentiment, emotions. First, look at this thing are true. I mean, you understand? If not be if not be true, you can constantly tell the person, no, you did wrong. Bro. You understand? The fight. Yeah, yeah, you did. Like I, I watched a video of Pastor How you say if you don't pay tight, you will die. Somebody talking about Facebook, I say come on and he shot me saying a lie. Say the go never say never say until we give them the video. Oh, you see the video. They went mute. You understand? You don't have to vouch for people, even if they are your spiritual father. You understand? Because they be human beings. We they see many of them. They 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 they, 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 they fallible. They, they do things. So they get questionable character. Yeah, so when they give wrong motivational speech, if what you go say monkey on the field, they climb more banana tree. So that's why that's why the slants can't say who dash monkey banana. Monkey with the climb any kind of thing, they climb banga, you know, they climb banana tree with short. That's to let you know this boy just climb with the poop it and just say what they like. Then when you contradict them, they see you as an enemy. See Pastor Ebe Damina now. Ebe Damina. He said he does the fought some kind of things when they teach people. Tight, this one, so I lie. Nothing like that. You know, if you're not pay charity, you have for so everybody they look at with the head, right? So you they worry this one. They will not use you. Yeah. You didn't get they are quick to attack anybody where they won't talk the truth with the Bible. Now, to crown it all, I More won't round up. Yes, now. to round up, I won't make Nigerians first agree. Or maybe they know, maybe they not agree. Even if you don't agree now, it's the truth. Yeah. Christianity and Islam is a borrowed religion to our client. They demonize our religion, say they collect human sacrifice. Jephthah sacrificed his daughter to God in the Bible. You understand? God order Abraham say make he go sacrifice his son before. He don't a good one before. It's not be something where they inside their tradition before. He never carry a picky, they go sacrifice her before, before they give her around because they are the only son. God too sacrificed Job, children, just to test Job. All these the barbaric acts. I for one, any God if he order the death of a child, I don't feel the same as God. Yes. If you order the death of an innocent child, I don't see you as a God. These things are borrowed to us. They are borrowed to us. We accept them, and now you don't they destroy our society. You believe say, if, if you're, you're picking a Christian, it could grow in the way of God. When I lie, all of us, the bonus for the Christianity. Now, as a bit of God shows, my mother grew me. I'll be royal rich, I'll be royal priesthood. But he gets some things, whether the teachers make we not do. When we don't see the four corners of school, we see do some of them. A child that will be good will be good. That's why I tell you, say religion is not really the make man be you won't be. So Nigerians need to know that this thing is borrowed. It's not taking us anywhere. Why we are tackling our politicians, our government, we should be checkmating the lies that are being peddled to us from the halter too. Because these two people, they, they walk hand in hand. See Father Mbaka with Buhari the last time. You see how this thing works. They are twin. Politics and religion are twin. If you want, if you want to cage one, you need to cage the other one. If we can do this, kill fear, then Nigeria will move forward. It will be a starting point. Rome was not built in a day. Okay. 
If if all these churches, the empty, time don't go. All my people don't tell me. <laughs> so my people now like, here with this stuff because we say we we'll talk about religion today. They go break. <laughs> Understanding now, uh, so I beg I won't go eat. So tell your people. We will want to say bye bye to anybody. Yeah, to so my family, my dad, engineer Umuru Sule, and my mom, Doctor Mrs. Umuru Sule. I love you guys. Then to my wife, Mrs. Femena Kadiri, and my lovely daughter Snowy, and my son. Yeah, so my people are out to cut. So all my beloveds and lovely Mokris family.